Hi everyone, this is Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees of Northwest Alabama, and today I want to share with you how I use this small tree behind me that's in full bloom right now to predict the first swarms in my area. This tree right here is a hazel alder or smooth alder. It's the first major pollen source for honeybees in my area of Northwest Alabama. Well, over the years, I've noticed that uh, my first swarm issue would come as early as between March 15th and as late as April 18th. So I got to wondering why. So I got to noticing it took me a couple of years to come across this, but I noticed these blooming while driving to work one day. Uh, there's a pond nearby. So I got out and investigated and done some research and discovered the name of this. So over the, over the period of the next few years, uh, I, I kind of watched and, and timed it out and figured out uh, I think this pretty much initiates the brood rearing process in my area and uh, I've noticed fairly consistently over the five, last five or six years that once I see this blooming and uh, I see the bees bringing the yellowish green pollen which is about the same as what you're seeing right here once they start bringing that into the colony I can count down the calendar ahead about 65 days and mark that day and then back up five days and go forward five days. And uh, that gives me a 10 day window that I pretty much will see the first swarm in my area, assuming that uh, my bees have not been overfed. Here you see the bees bringing in the pollen the, almost the exact same color as the blooms that we was looking at just a few seconds ago. At this time as well, the que other cues I see them doing is bringing or forging in for a lot of water. I just wet places around in, in the yard. I see them watering all over the place this time of the year. I'm guessing or assuming if they're having to thin down the honey to consume, to make jelly along with the uh, brand new source of pollen that's coming in. This method may not be perfect, but it's, it's served me pretty good the last few years and I wanted to share it. and. Uh, the sources of initial pollen may be different in your area. I've done learn this spring that it is different in different areas watching some other videos. But uh, in my general area, this is what comes in first for me. So I hope you can take this information and, and help yourself predict uh, your first initial swarms of the season. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.